welcome back to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. How's it going? Guys, October's almost over. Like, this is, this is just really sad for me, as I'm sure you guys can relate. Like, what are we going to do? We're still going to celebrate Halloween every single day. So, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Stay in the Halloween spirit with all of us Halloween Happy friends. I'm wearing my mostly ghostly sweatshirt. If you're interested in more info about that, I'll link it down below. I have a Halloween unboxing for you guys. I'm really excited about this. Bradford Exchange actually reached out to me. I hope you guys don't mind that. Like, I like showing you guys new things, so I hope that's okay. Does that bother you if I do videos like this? I had actually never heard of Bradford Exchange until I moved here. My friend Ashley, the one who always spoils me with all the Halloween stuff, she made me that awesome Halloween blanket for my birthday last year. She was like, if you do not know who they are, you need to look them up. And I looked them up. I'm like, how have I never known Bradford Exchange? A few weeks ago, wanting to see if I'd be interested in doing a little review. And so, Obviously, I had to say yes. A few of the options were like a lot of the Charlie Brown items, like the peanuts. I think I got the Nightmare Before Christmas, and I think it's a cuckoo clock, I want to say. A little Halloween treasure from the Bradford Exchange. I will link all of their stuff below. Someone had actually messaged me on Insta. I, well, they commented on one of my videos, I should say. They were wondering if I was a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because all the stuff that I usually tend to haul... Um, is like Halloween decor and I do have like some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff but not a lot because you guys know like I collect a few different things but I rather collect a lot of different things of those types of things I collect rather than do Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, like all the Halloween stuff like I kind of want it I don't know. I know if you guys have heard of the Bradford Exchange, they had a lot of cute stuff, a lot of Halloween stuff, and I'm pretty sure they have Christmas decor too, so if you are a Christmas nut, definitely check them out. And thanks again to Bradford Exchange and Claire for reaching out to me. It really means so much that there are companies out there wanting to work with me. That means a lot. I'm just trying to do my Halloween thing, and if other people want to join me, that's cool too. So thanks, guys. So I've already cut the box. And I thought it was going to be wrapped, but it's not, so you're going to see it, like, right off the bat. Isn't that amazing? Sorry if you can see some of the packing snow to it. Here's the top, and I'm going to have to set the time on it. We have some ghost friends who are lit up. Then we have some jack-o'-lanterns. You can have the lights on, and then there's also an option to have it off, but it's still on. Jack, and then Sally. And here, zero is, so whenever it strikes... Um, zero comes out, of course. I'm trying to figure out how to set it. I don't want to break it. And the clock is a spider web, which is really cute. The cat. And down here we have Locke with his little Halloween banner. Here on the chains we have Shock and Barrel. And those just hang down like that. How fun. So excited. I haven't even wiped it off yet. Very happy with it. It's very heavy duty. Then it just hangs on the back with this little hook. I'll try to look in the direction. Certificate of Authenticity, which is really neat. Hereby certify that this collectible is authentic, original, and the limited edition of Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Cuckoo Clock. It is produced to the highest quality and artistic standards of the Bradford Exchange and limited edition presentation to a maximum of 295 casting days. Okay, so I've never had a cuckoo clock. So I didn't even know you had to put the chime in. I guess that makes sense. So, all right, let me see if I can do this and I'll be back. All right, so here's the back. I just opened this because I needed to put the chime in there. But it's pretty easy. I was able to do it without looking at the instructions, but then I double checked and then it looks like we have a battery that goes in here. So that's what the bottom of that looks like. Okay, so I guess I should have read the directions because it says never set the time with the hands. Okay, so I got it set. I will probably show you, try to show you a picture um, on their website with what it looks like with zero coming out. I just don't want to have to like set it for a certain time and then me accidentally break it. The Nightmare Before Christmas Cuckoo Clock from Bradford Exchange. 
Let me know what you guys think. I wish I could really wind it up to show you what it looks like when Zero comes out. I think it's pretty cool. It's a really unique item if you guys have friends and family that are obsessed with this movie. I'll link everything down below so you can check this out. Hopefully this video isn't too horrible. I'm not familiar with cuckoo clocks and how, like, you have to be so careful with them, but I'm really happy with it. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys are enjoying your October so far. If you want to see what I'm up to for the month of October and every other day, all my social media links are listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I love you so much. I hope you know that, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!